think it was the second coming of the Christ. It's just the first. Mm. <sighs> I didn't even think he did that. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, and we always... just alienated how many? <laughs> I have a, hey, I have a tree in the background. How about that? <laughs> hey, Leo, look. Very look. You. Like hey. Jesus, Christmas came early. The pins are coming out of the bottom of his fist. Is that a Jesus joke? Easter gamer. Oh, I smell the brimstone on that one. <laughs> oh, God. What's up, everybody? Oh. It's Thursday night. You know what that means. That means I figure out. I the beginning of the story. I didn't spoil the end of the movie, man. That was not <laughs> cool. I, I love how that if we were monetized, we would. We would blow through that monetization. <laughs> the thir first thirty seconds were instantly demonetized. Hash hashtag no no uh, no monetization. <laughs> oh whoa! <laughs> hey Matt, <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we have Paul Matrix in the house. Thanks for for tuning in. And uh, send, get, him oh, yeah. send him a link. I I, I posted it on Twitter. But anyway, no, I mean, send him a link to the. You have to do formal invitations. Okay. So, anyway, everybody, back on track. It's Thursday, and that means Figure Action is here live on YouTube once again. Uh, tonight, I'm joined by the usual cast of characters after our Thanksgiving hiatus. Uh, so, we're back with a lot of cool stuff to talk about tonight. And as always, if you're watching us here on YouTube, make sure you do a few things for us. Make sure you hit that like button because it helps get our name out there just a little bit. Make sure if you're not already, hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell. Uh, lots of cool stuff coming out. You never know when we're going to do a B side. Uh, we've got. Um, Rise of Skywalker. Well, we never know we're going to do one either, but we've got yeah. Rise of the Skywalker coming out. Uh, we've been wanting to talk Mandalorian, so uh, you know stuff that we just can't fit on the show. So we're going to have some stuff coming out. Um, Fans Toys has their uh, Goose coming out, their Untitled Goose Transformer. Um, hmm. So uh, when that hits, I'll probably do an unboxing. So again, hit, make sure you get that notification bell clicked off. And of course, uh, if you're again watching us, make sure you pop in that live chat. Where you can be part of the show. We love our audience. Just a quick reminder, if you're in the DMV area, um, BC, Maryland, Virginia, uh, and you'd like to meet this crew, minus Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I had a teleporter and I knew it wouldn't turn you into a uh, a let a let wild fly, I... or a puddle, or a puddle. <laughs> Life would be, if we actually had a teleporter, we'd, we'd get all kinds of people up here. But um, if you're in the area and you'd like to meet us, hang out with us, see some cool figures, bring some cool figures, and maybe do some. Um, buying selling or trading uh head on over to uh the white marsh area 11 to 3 p.m at bar louie uh we'll be there uh, a lot of cool folks from the realm of collectors and the dmv action figure society should be coming up uh also some folks from tfw it's gonna be a good time it's always a good time and you don't have to bring anything other than yourself and a good attitude um so make sure you can't bring either. Either. Son of a bitch. <laughs> if you're on meds I mean, take them first Technically, <laughs> technically, you'll be in the photos. <laughs> uh, please, please don't that the photos. There's so many. I, I, you pictures know, of me. you got to give us a good, a, a good, clean picture that you really yeah. like. I, 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 I mean, that's that's my New Year resolution to get a to get a um a new Dave head. My wife said the same thing. Well, it's going to be there, and we're going to get to see. Uh, we're going to get to see. Yeah, hey, he's watching us. So that's going to be awesome. Looking forward to that. Um, now, anyway. Deluxe always says he hits the big time. We really hit the big time <laughs> just now. I mean, hey. Um, so um, let's get into some how you doings. We had a break over the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, we're also okay, going to have okay. a break for the Rise of Skywalker holiday, so the nineteenth. We will be doing a show hiatus. However, the day after Christmas, we will still be live. So, our 
Christmas break show will be on the 19th for us to see well, Star what Wars. What are we all seeing uh, Star Wars? Thursday. You're seeing it Thursday? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure I'm, Matt's seeing it Thursday. Nah, we're seeing it Friday. <laughs> oh. I don't have tickets yet. Friday during the day, like Friday morning. I'm yeah. burning a favor for my wife. I am seeing that movie. Are you seeing it on Thursday? Uh, I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm seeing it. Well, what I'm thinking is if, if we can all manage to see it before Friday night, maybe we can do a B-side or yeah, something. We, I, I think we definitely should because there's, uh, you know, lots to talk about. And while, while you guys are seeing I'll be watching Mandalorian. Yeah, I might have to squeeze myself no, in. Is it? Since I didn't pre-order. It's not on Friday that week, is it? Isn't it on Wednesday that week? Is it? Supposedly, I heard though that if you see like the last episode of the Mandalorian, there's actually a semi-spoiler to the movie. They're supposed to have some sort of mm. at the end of the episode. I think that's why they're doing it on Wednesday. At the end of that episode, I think there's a lead-in or a tie-in. Now, weird. now we've we've come full circle. We're now a Star Wars podcast. <laughs> Man, Speaking of which, rumors. <laughs> interwebs. Speaking of which, um, the last Skywalker is actually Baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably Speaking in the which, movie uh, the whole time. Joe, uh, we, we you know we we've been shilling our shirts over the past few weeks here, uh, and uh, our resident T-shirt <laughs> artist, Mister Joe Crab, has uh, designed us some Mandalorian theme shirts. So. Uh, right. If you guys were interested in getting a shirt, and uh, also our shirts are um, a bit on the cheaper side, you can get uh, shirts as low as $12 over on the Fap Shop. That's actually what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> so head on over to teespring.com. Go to the uh, Fap Shop. Just do a shirt search for it. and uh, <laughs> Yeah, just go to Google and, yes. and Google Fap Shop. You know, Google if your significant Fap other asks, images, right. honey, I was just I was just supporting a, a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is a this is a really good design. Joe's modeling it tonight, um, but it's our our Mandalorian theme shirt, and I think it turned out really awesome. Of course, you can get our uh, this our vice shirt still. This is the comfort tee that I got, and I have to say it's a big step up from the uh, the cheap, the twelve dollar one. So, yeah, that's that's it, what I bought. Get the yeah, spend the extra couple bucks and get the comfort tee. But uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a cool design there. And of course, I have the uh, the vice shirt still too. Um, and we've got you know you can get the vice shirt in all different sorts. Actually, you can get the uh, Mandalorian shirt in a multitude of different colors, designs. Um, Fabric. We don't have a hoodie. Go for the Mandalorian shirt. The, the, yeah. I don't know. When, when I opened up the uh, when I opened up the shirt with the vice design on there, and when I flapped that, a whole bunch of salt came out of it. I was not a fan. <laughs> so apparently, there's just a lot of salt tied with that design. I have found, but anyway, I digress. <laughs> and uh, if you saw tonight's title card, um, I got to give a, a huge shout out to a friend of the show. Uh, operator of the DMV Action Figure Society, our, our good buddy Kevin Womack. He's been on the show before. Um, he did our title card art, fan art of the five of us, and uh, really appreciate that, Kevin. It was great art. Um, we didn't and, even force uh, him. No, he just did it out of uh, out of uh, out of the the kindness of his heart, and uh, just wanting to do some. Uh, there you go. Thank you. And. Uh, you know, make sure you check uh, Kev out. He's uh, he's on uh, Instagram. His Instagram handle is art underscore by underscore killa k i l l a underscore Kev, and uh, he's got some great art. Dude's always drawing, and uh, that's the that's best I've ever looked. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's just gonna go on Teespring after this. And he's gonna like make his own his own shirt. He's like, get the true Star Screamer shirt. This does really on the back. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. That looks so much better. Hold on. I didn't realize you could not see that very well. Try this. He's there doing we a go. Live there we go. Design. Much better. That was uh that was me when I had fun hair before I had corporate life hair. <laughs> now now my hair resembles uh Mark Wahlberg in the departed. <laughs> it's just like that flop the one side. 
<laughs> can you do an accent? Yeah, I um all, all I can do for a Boston accent is uh is just say car keys. It's... Chowda. Chowda. I lost my khakis. Khakis. <laughs> <laughs> hey Joe, how was your week? What'd you get? My week has been going great. <laughs> Sorry. Well, tell us about it. I got <laughs> A ten dollar siege mirage. Did you get it through the day. link that I share? Via T Man nine seven eight. <laughs> so T Man, when you see that extra half a penny, you can thank me. <laughs> it might be thirty cents. Buy that was your T Man's link. He can buy himself a t shirt. Actually, more than what I was thinking. And the saga of the. Everlast <laughs> DHL package finally God evolved. Damn. But look Jesus. at this. That is crushed like my teenage soul. This is what happens when DHL just like gives it to a driver and they ride around with it for three days. Everyone else's packages probably got stacked on top. It went to like multiple different uh, hubs. The box what did they look like on the inside? Okay. It looks like Mario jumped on. <laughs> <laughs> we got turtle shot out the other side. Uh, so how was how was your Thanksgiving? Was that? Oh. It was it was good. Um, I uh, I had three Thanksgivings actually. Nice. Yeah, uh, we Dang. did one at work, and then I had one at my aunt's house, and then we had one here. And between all that and all those desserts, I definitely gained a good five pounds. Hmm. I'm actually going to open this up real quick, so don't mind. I got to I got to say like one thing. That is, I mean, <laughs> I've always I've always been fortunate with the Amazon Japan with boxes through DHL. Like DHL has always been like my preferred carrier because they're always like on time. They give me my stuff in like two days, and I see so many horror stories. And every time I open up one of those boxes, they're just like this the the flimsiest boxes. Like there's really no packaging in there. There's just like uh. You know, the figure is shrink wrapped to a piece of cardboard. Yeah, MP44 had no, no, no bubbles, no nothing. Almost four hundred dollar toy and and no protection. Yeah, no protection. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, ordered I mean, something last week, and I noticed there was an option down there that says, "Do you want Amazon packaging? Because it's just going to come with, in the in the box." I'm like, yeah. That wasn't Amazon Japan. They don't give you really any options. Yeah, because of customs. This there, is like the, the anticipation's killing. There we this go. is like watching Plastic Addict. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's intact. It made it. It's just him. Just him. No, no spider lady. That was all. Oh. <laughs> I, th I, I predict I'm going to cave on that. I, I think so too. I think after this weekend, you probably will. She's more fun than me. Sorry, right. I made the wrong choice. You didn't make enough choices, is what he's saying. I guess I could have got a That's both. That's okay. She doesn't have jiggle action. <laughs> Unless I seek it really quickly. It's not the transform element. Um, are they, they going to make a, that's uh, a squeeze factor? Oh, God. Yeah, you know they will. And you know you know it's going to be that same company that made the, the one for fans Toys RC. And Takar told me made it easy. They put one pin right there. Yep. And you know... <laughs> you <laughs> the know, designer's like, please do it. Please. You, you know, it's just going to be like... <laughs> Twitter's gonna be lit up. The Facebook group's gonna be lit up. <clears throat> All we're gonna see for two weeks is black or acne of boobs on Twitter and Facebook, and people like commenting about it. Spoiler. Are right. you done, well, Joe? I am. David, what did you get? Uh, well, first of all, my Thanksgiving was pretty nice. It was over at the in laws, and there was no drama. Yeah. We, was there crazy? Uh, yeah, it was actually um, they uh, had it. They picked it up from Cracker Barrel, but hey, it was turkey. It was turkey. Um, 
We did try a new technique to avoid family drama. And for anybody with a kid over the age of six, I highly recommend this. You just train them that if anyone mentions anything that sounds like politics, you just tell them, do something cute. And it completely derails the conversation. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's my, my, my little life hack for you all. Um, when it comes to the halls, you guys may want to get a little... You guys may... Son of a... <laughs> I made you when do it, chin ups over boobs. Don't do Lauren Martin's. Don't do Lauren Martin's thing. That you'll you'll knock me out of the room. Um, but um, you might want to get comfortable for the hall because a whole bunch of stuff just decided to show up on my shelf. I mean, on my front porch. Uh, probably. I hate you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I know. I, I know. But um, as you guess. <laughs> uh, I got <laughs> for those of you listening at home. Yeah, being just put your hand higher. <laughs> <laughs> you got a couple phone go. books you can sit on. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Um, one of the first things I got is the Storm Collectibles Cyrax. This is the one of four Storm Collectibles I had show up. And one of four. I love. Yes, I love and hate this thing. Um, I hate it because all the QC went up. So everything, t everything that you are hating, zero, it is corrected on this. Like I was actually messing around. With, I was took a couple pictures of him and the first Scorpion figure, and the first Scorpion figure, the arm, you know, the hand popped out of the socket. The head was all a little jiggly. I mean, I still like that figure, but this is the QC level on these guys are so much better. So I got this guy. I got Cyrax, and he holds the poses beautifully. Do they have proper uh, ankle pivot on them? Uh, yeah. Or is it just ball joints? Because the Ryu had a ball joint. Did you get the one, the BBTS exclusive one with the, like the? I the, did the not help? get the. B <laughs> I did not get the BBTS exclusive. Um, which let me tell you. Then I ordered. I got Sector on order. That one you would want the exclusive. I did want, the, but I ordered it through Toyco, and I don't want to. I ordered my sector through Toyco and I don't want to jam things up there. So I didn't want to, he's got a weird cancellation policy. So I'm a little hating that I didn't wait. I, I would just be like, Hey man, I need to cancel it. Yeah. I've never ordered stuff through him before. So, oh. uh, but then, uh, as I mentioned, I got a couple there. I did get, uh, <clears throat> Guile from Street Fighter 2 from Storm. Sonic Boom. I got Sagat. I'm really looking forward to messing with this guy, even though I do kind of want the figure arts one as well. This guy, I've not seen a bad a, a bad review of this guy yet. Did you see he was on sale today? Which? Not the storm. Please don't Sagat. tell me the storm. Yeah. For 69. Oh. Uh, that's not too bad. I paid 75. Um, and then I got the Scorpion, which then I just saw the announcement for the Sub Zero that they're coming out these with a much better effect parts too. So I'm just yes. like, yeah, Storm, yes. that looks Storm awesome. collectibles can suck the money out of my wallet. <laughs> um, yeah, Zero might get that Sub Zero. I I may actually. <laughs> I was I hit my target, and I got Eight Face. Look forward to this mess with this guy. Oh, I have not seen that at anywhere. Oh, I've seen him. I saw him at Walmart today. Yeah, and then I did find my red and Dino Gold Ranger. So these guys I know are going to be fun. I still have not seen Lord Dracon. I, I, did uh, you so have him on pre-order? No. Oh, he. I got him on pre-order from Amazon. Okay. He should still be up. I think he was available on Pulse today. Yeah, and then last but not least, this bad boy showed up. Yay! I have. Never been more intimidated of a figure than this thing. There's just so much to this thing. I mean, I, yeah. I took out, I took off, I took them out. I looked at everything. And I just packed them back up. And I'm like, I want to make sure I have a perfect space on my shelf. I want, I mean, there's just a lot to this thing. I, I do, of course, like the fact that the display stand holds all the parts, but dear God, like, I don't know where to start with this thing. Well, just just take them out and put them together. Don't worry about looking at everything. Just slam it together. 
<laughs> slam it together. Well, I kind of want to do the three like special vehicles that they combine into because I really liked Vehicle Voltron. Just watch uh, uh, I... Rocket Punch Army's video. He he takes you through how to do it all. Oh, I know. I, I love that. Or two nine seven eight. Or oh yeah. Too. Oh okay. Well yeah, then, but I, I like positive attitude. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm positive until I after I show it. <laughs> I show everything first, and then I tell them say my real thoughts. <laughs> I'm waiting part. for a dark emo day before I watch that Bumblebee review. <laughs> that was good too. Actually, he was so, he surprisingly um, was more positive in the video than I was expecting because I I, uh, I don't like the figure <laughs> I'll tell you right now <laughs> I have every review I've seen of him I am happy with my $60 Bumblebee version 1.0 so well Dave cool. that's a Kevin Womack level haul it all like sh- no because I only got one of everything <laughs> oh, <that's true. laughs> Kevin is the the Noah of uh, toy collectors. <laughs> so, uh, but that's yeah, that's what I got. I got, a, and so that you know what that means. The photo booth is probably going to be busy in the next couple of days. Sweet, right on. Is See me. Yet? Oh, and I may have gotten one more thirty minute missions. Yeah. I got a problem. Uh, how many of them do you have? Three, uh, you got about, about two me. hours worth. Nah, mine yeah. doesn't jiggle like that. No, it is fine. <laughs> but I'm doing great. My Thanksgiving first, it seemed like that weekend seemed really long, and then Sunday came, and I was like, "Holy shit, I gotta go to work." But um, bought Matrix. I already. I, I ordered uh, Ape Face through Amazon, I think. Yeah, but I haven't seen them in stores. That's what I was referring to. And um, as far as what I got, I got the, uh, what is this last movie called? Jaina. From uh, Rise, Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. And I was also from Mandalorian. Cara Dune. <laughs> focus. I can't get this to focus, so whatever. I got the blue, blue Beast Morphers Power Ranger. Oh, yeah, I got him, too. He's just part of the show. I tried to watch the show. I got through the first two, but the third episode, they were shoveling, like, some moral lessons down my throat, and it was so corny. I was like, I couldn't do it. They let the Yellow Ranger lead that episode, and her acting was horrid. And I got Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. I need to do the review so I can get him out of this tag on pose. Um, I don't know if I had this before on one of our last episodes, but yeah, yeah, yeah you did. Sorry, you did. and of course, Bumblebee already's been showing that, and Black Rachnia. and she terrorized today on my channel. Oh, see, you're gonna poke my eyes out. I see it's cold in Baltimore. <laughs> yes, it has some interesting shadow effects, but she's good. I like her. She has like the, in my opinion, the most accurate robot mode of all of the beast masterpiece. She might be the most articulated. I don't know because her arms have so many freaking joints. It's crazy. She's definitely the most articulated. I will agree with you 100% there. But I, I still think like Primal is probably, you know, after looking at them and, and, and combing them over, it's like Primal, her, and then uh, Megatron. And I think the only reason she beats Megatron out is because his back kibble is more apparent than a yeah. whole kind of stuff. And hers, I'm shocked they actually got the correct design for the back kibble. Yeah. Did you I see think that? they added they added more detail to her legs than what the cartoon has, but you're not gonna be able to see it on this camera. Yeah, because well, there's the that shading. Is only, the cartoon was only 64 bit, man. <laughs> <laughs> what was you about to say, Zero? I, I was what? I was I was just gonna say they uh they painted that like really subtle shading on the uh on the leg. It's it's like an interesting digital <clears throat> effect. Yeah. 
and I like it. It's like I don't understand how this paint works at all. It's like it's part of the plastic. Well, it's digital printing. That's all. That's all it is. And it must be better plastic one yeah. than the um, Marvel Legends faces. Oh yeah, they look like you can rub uh, that off, but this doesn't look like it rubs off. Well, uh, <laughs> well considering Edwards. that that cost cost the ca- about as much as a case of Marvel Legends, and <laughs> better, unless you buy yeah. it from Amazon Japan, th- then you get a case, but you got to lose one figure. Yeah. Um. Zero. Yeah. How was your week? So my my, uh, my week. About... We haven't talked about me yet. Uh, so my Thanksgiving was great. We went to Lex's uh, cousin's house. Had about forty people there. I made about twenty five <laughs> pounds mashed potatoes. Uh, mm. Y'all know my mashed potatoes. Except Dave, he don't know my mashed potatoes. But uh, it was a hit. It was a good time. I actually had Thanksgiving week off, which was nice. Though I didn't really get to do much of vacation. I helped family out a bit. So I did nice things, but I didn't really get to uh, have too much time to myself. But I did beat Fallen Order, and I'm, I don't want to call it my game of the year, but I will say it was one of my favorite games of the year. Uh, I still think uh, the Link's Awakening remake is my game of the year, of all things. Even though it's like a straight-up remake, I just love that game so much. Resident but Evil on, 2 was this year, right? Resident Evil 2 is this year. Resident Evil 2 is very good. It's in my runner. Like that and Devil May Cry 5 are like both really, really good games. I went, I'm went. i taking a break from Fallen Order playing Devil May Cry 5, and oh my god, I cannot stop. That is such a palate cleanser. I love it. Yeah, it's just so much fun. Um, I'm on this. Yeah, I'm doing the second run with Nero right now. I got I got Dante, Dante up. But, um,. Fallen Order, man, it's just like I got in the groove with that game, and I just love the combat, and I love the progression system, and you know, just I understand some of the complaints people had with it, not enough lightsaber combat. Um, but I mean, it, it, for me, I just I love the encounters with the stormtroopers. They felt formidable. Then you level up, you learn how to fight them, and <laughs> like at the end of the game, I walked it. I kept I was grinding. There's this room where there's like eight security droids. And I was just mopping the floor with them, and and <laughs> you know, it, it's 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 great because during the course of the game, you don't necessarily become more powerful as much as you learn the combat mechanics. And I, I really really like that because uh, you start out, you're like, man, I, I think Dave, you said it, you're like, I'm the worst Jedi ever, but <laughs> by the if you stick with it by the end of the game, you just you become good at it. And uh, you get the timing down. And, um, I like the way they uh, worked the progression into the story, like how you unlock the different. Yeah, properties. yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's a lot like Metroid, and you know the map systems a lot like Metroid Prime. Um, the leveling mechanics are a lot like Dark Souls. The level design and traversals a lot like one of the Tomb Raider games, like the new Tomb Raider reboots. Uh, I, I really really like that, and I also like the fact that. It, you know, there weren't side quests, but it encouraged ex- exploration and the exploration and the puzzles in the environment were, were so much fun. Um, and, oh, I uh, also had a really good date day on my <coughs> vacation. Lex and I went to uh, Dave and Buster's and we beat that Halo game <laughs> we went on a <laughs> Wednesday. So we got to sit there like, oh, we're beating the Halo game. So that was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> One car payment later. No, actually, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Um, we did go on like an all-you-can-play day, but uh, and I won a little. I won a little uh, Ecto One with my tickets. We played a lot of skee ball that day, and I hit the jackpot on the the Angry Birds game. So I was like, "Yeah, hey, look, I got enough tickets. Our combined tickets are enough to get this little six-dollar Ecto One." But that was cool. Uh, also, went to uh, a concert this week, so you know it's been it's been a a, a nice. Nice couple of weeks. Uh, as for what I got, uh, of course, I got Bumblebee. If you didn't hear already, I'm not too thrilled with this guy. Mine, the legs are a floppy mess. Um, I have paint defects. I don't know how well you can see that. He's got like these orange marks, these brown marks on his arm. Um, and he's got like little black spots on the paint. Um now, I might be able to fix the legs with a little bit of floor polish, um, but mine—that much? 
you shouldn't have to. That, that was my point with MP44. And, uh, you know, I don't know if anybody else has had it, but like on the tips, there's sprue marks on the fingers. And then with mine, I'm like, I don't want to take the gun out of his hand because for whatever reason, I could not get this gun to go into his hand. And I just took the gun out of the hand. Right? <laughs> uh, and now the gun has fallen. Uh, so I have to find that. Uh, but it don't just forget it, and step on it. It does not feel good. Um, no, I'm not going to step on it. But I, I saw that one poor soul broke the, the tip of the gun off in the blast effect. Uh, oh. You know, I wish there was an exchange policy with Amazon Japan because I these legs just don't like they them. Have don't one. To, yeah, but then DHL doesn't want to take the, sh- the shit back. So <laughs> they sort of have one. You give them yeah. money and they exchange that for another product. So if Amazon US gets him, I may just get him from them and be like, this is defective and do a swap out that way. Um, uh, how, the Luxus the- has an off center um, Autobot logo in the center. It was just. I did not see that. That sucks too. I saw with the first version, a lot of people scraped theirs off by turning the the thing the wrong way. This figure, however, this is one of my top ten figures of the year. I absolutely love this piece. Um, you know, like T was saying, she's one of the most accurate robot modes. I actually don't mind the spider mode. I love this web effect. I love everything about this figure. I love the accessories. I love the weapons. Um, I love that. She, I, at first, I was like, "Why does she come with an optional uh, missile?" And then I saw that it has the thread on it, and it's blue, and you can actually clip it to her spider mode and have her hanging from the web. Just everything about this figure—it's it, uh, in my top ten list of the year. Um, and then another figure I got this week was Siege Astro Train. Again, love this guy. Um, Next to Jetfire, he is probably my favorite figure in the line. And, uh, I mean, it sucks that he came out as a leader class figure because he's definitely not a leader class figure in size. I mean, he's about as substantial as Shockwave. He's heavy, though. He's got a good heft to him. And he's got a good parts count. And the transformation's really cool. Um, the accessories for what they are are cool. I would have rather have done without this backpack that forms kind of forms a Jaegertron esque weapons rack that you can turn into a, uh, um, a you know a train car or a blast uh, a black, <clears throat> um, not a, 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 a launcher. But uh, and of course he also comes with shoes. You can make him a little bit taller and it forms the top, but. He's not. He he doesn't do any parts forming. He makes for a very good animation accurate Astro Train, and both his shuttle mode and his train mode are animation accurate esque. And I, I just I, I can't say enough. Ugh, this thing does actually clip in rather securely. Just pulling that thing off. There we go. Um, but yeah, if you have a chance to get Astro Train, he is um, he is really good and. Uh, uh, Yes. Uh, so does the backpack lay flat when it folds out? That's a good question. Yes, mine does. I've, I've, the only issue I've had transforming this guy is that when you fold his arms up and over, you have to make sure that you, you push these back so they're flush with his head. But he kind of has an old school feeling transformation where you have to have everything lined up just right, but you get some satisfying clicks out of it. The only thing, the only knock I could give this guy is he's got paint in certain areas that rub and I worry about the longevity of the paint, but otherwise that's my week. That's. <laughs> uh Oh, the uh, where did I are off by accident. Oh, there, uh, there we go. <laughs> um, so let's get into let's get into some uh, some news for the week. Um, so you know we we beat a dead horse with MP44. I really think we did. we talked about that thing so now much. We've beaten it blue. We we but did. Have we beaten it black? Thank you. Uh, um. Uh. What, so Matt's not here. I'm safe. <laughs> We've got uh we've got MP44 coming out. I'm sorry, MP49. 49. 
And I say, I'm sorry, because, uh, you know, in the past, normally this wouldn't be an official numbered release. They would have called it like MP4044B, 40, but also instead we're getting, yeah, we're getting, well, we're getting a, a Decepticon uh, version of him, uh, which it's strange to have a numbered release for a character like that. And uh, I, I, I don't know about him. They're playing on people's OCD. I, I think they are. Um, he's. Uh, I, don't know that. <laughs> I think he's coming out uh, with an MSRP of what is it? Is it two fifty? But Amazon Japan has him listed uh, for a lot less. I think he was he was he's showing up for some people at two twelve, and then he's probably because Amazon Japan. I did the math on it. Um, tends to be a, like a a thirty three percent discount. Um, I know some people are bummed over the lack of accessories and the high price. I'm kind of curious too what they're going to do with the sound effects because they, they it says just, he doesn't have it. So they've gutted the sound effects. Yeah, they could have at least if they're making a Decepticon, they could have at least given him the red sword. Yeah. No, uh, they could have gave us Black sure. Convoy from R.I.D. What was uh, what was MP32? Well, car robots. Uh, that was primal, wasn't it? What was MP thirty eight? Yeah, thirty eight was Optimus Primal for Simmons. Okay, so I'm trying to think. Okay, so I, I can make an argument there, right? So MP the Commander, the Commander uh, Optimus Primal. That's actually Optimus Primal from Beast Wars the Second. Oh yeah, and yeah. So that's that's different. This. That makes sense because even though it's a repaint, it's a completely different character. Um, this is Tinderbox. Oh yeah, so Balt, that's the thing on the Astro Train. You have to you have to push that thing in. When you click it, then it will lay flat. Um, is there a black version of Light of Freedom? Yes. There, there you is. go. There, you know yeah. what? There's your answer. You want a capitalist Optimus Prime? Get a solid figure at half the cost. I mean, I already have MP10B. Um, I'm a masterpiece yeah. completionist, though. So this, is, and they gave him a new Matrix. No, I think the the biggest missed opportunity here is that they they went with the black and teal colors. They could have given us a sleep mode convoy that also had a Nemesis mode. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and th then it would have ticked a couple of boxes. You know, they could have included the accessory for the battle damage, um, giving him like a, a you know a swap out chest. None that they're showing and, this picture. I, I remember that episode, right? <laughs> the uh, with the with the head that was like black when his face was like blasting off. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that was <laughs> that was that was, that, was, that was more traumatic than Transformers the movie for me. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the Matrix in all in all silver with red. But you know, I, I just th I think this is a missed opportunity. Um, you know, still do a round thing. I think Dave, you kind of you kind of made your point saying you know you could just get light light of freedom for a lot less. You get another, you get a different mold. I yeah, I'm sorry. Me and Takara right now are not getting along. Ever since they started this whole plus thing in the last couple of releases, the last thing I bought from them was Sunstreaker. Yeah, I don't mind the plus the plus stuff. I, I think. Well, I'm just saying they're jacking up their prices. You're not getting. I mean, well, and this the, is just across the board. Yeah, with the plus stuff, they, with the exception of Megatron, which I never understood. It, well, actually, I can't even say with the exception of Megatron because they did it with, with Soundwave. I'm sorry, not Soundwave, Shockwave. Shockwave yeah. But you know, it's funny. You look at the retailers that have marked down the prices on Shockwave and Megatron. They can't be selling that well. No, and those seekers, the Coneheads. Yeah, I, well, I were... rushed to get the cone hits because they're like, they're Takara Tommy Mall exclusives. So I was like, oh shit, I might never get thrust. And now they're selling them for well under a hundred dollars. Yeah, but I now you can't even later. get a bumblebee for a hundred for under a hundred dollars. You can. Yep. You can get a bumblebee for under a hundred. In a couple for... months, it's going to be thirty dollars when you get the KO. Yeah, right. <laughs> you get where you get where I'm going at. I just <laughs> Takara. I mean, we, we've. I, this is another dead horse we've beaten. Yeah. And you know my thoughts. I do not like their current business model. And yeah. 
Sure. Yeah. I'm the up. business model is working pretty damn good. Is it though? Yeah, because they're selling them. If they weren't selling them, they wouldn't keep raising the prices. But my opinion on this one is if you're going to do a repaint, you got to improve the paint because that was the weakest yeah. part of MP44 was the paint. Yeah, especially I if you're going to do a number one. Great posability, great articulation, but the paint was the weakest part. So, I mean, what do you think about a, a, a numbered release at this at that price with only a handful of accessories? He probably only comes with the alternate head, the axe, the rifle, and the matrix. Oh, I think it's too much. I just think people yeah. are paying it. I'm not going to pay it, but enough yeah. people are going to pay it. Yeah. And then, T, where did you read about the, the voice box or the sound effects box? Um, Sony um, shared it to me earlier. It's on. It's on one of the sales listings, like um, yeah. TF Source or something. Yeah, and I I believe it, but you know, it's just it's kind of crazy though. You know, in the case of MP32 and MP38, the Commander Convoy came with all the toy accessories. It came with a lot more for just a mere ten dollars more. <laughs> he still had the electronics, and uh, you know, I, I I did not feel dissatisfied with that one at all. Um, you know, even though I had no, uh, you know really no connection to beast wars 2 other than i you know owned uh galvatron back in the day <laughs> but uh me I, I i don't understand the price hike like why it all of a sudden out of it it didn't just jump like 10 20 dollars they jumped a lot like i expected this like separately something like this i expected it to be no more than 150 but they're like 250 and and yeah. you barely get anything and me personally i don't care about a black g1 optimus prime so yeah. i was never going to get it anyway but then that price and then if um after hound because hound is ridiculous i'm like i might just stop collecting to cards on me they're, they're pushing a That's, lot of people welcome to, welcome welcome team man i get to join <laughs> me they're pushing a lot of people out of the market, especially when you can get good representations of characters through Siege and <laughs> Earthrise. Um, you know, I think Don't it might be that. they might raise the price again. True, <laughs> but they just uh, did. but yeah, it's uh. I thought I'm, you were going to say fans toys. <laughs> well, we we're going to talk fans toys a little bit at the end at the end of this one because I know you you had a, a discussion you wanted to, to to you know to make about them. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. Cause it's like, you know, I love the beast Wars stuff that they're putting out. I think that's priced better in some cases. Um, but yeah, it's a little, a little rough. I just think that I really think they missed the mark with this and I would have, I would have rather have, I, and I, I think they would have, they would have, if they did the sleep mode convoy, you know, the, the, the dead Optimus, a lot of people would have been hyped for it. They would want to put it with their movie figures. They would be able to include those battle damage accessories. They could have had a, you know, swap out parts to make him nemesis prime. If you, if you wanted, I just think that they're, they're missing the mark with this one big time. And, and they're, they're out of their minds charging that. And then also if they did the sleep mode one, they could have had unique voice clips with it from when he was dying. <laughs> well, I mean, that sad music play. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really think they, they could have. I mean, it, it, you know, they wouldn't have to include a trailer. You can't die, Prime. Yeah, they could have included a, a Daniel in the, the, you know, the new style. Oh, yeah. Just missed a missed opportunity. I think this is a really lazy repaint. Um, I hate being a completionist right now. <laughs> but, How are the uh, legs on your spike that came with Bumblebee? Um, they they were fine. Spike is fine. Yeah, I'm it's just Bumblebee himself is the uh, the uh, the problem. And Vault, How yeah, much Vault I, Matrix on this one? We need it. Yeah, I I really think that we're gonna get one very soon. Especially, they're gonna you know, have to do a lot of retooling because he his parts didn't look anything like hers. Yeah, but they, they have the they have the engineering done. I mean, it can be like a similar transformation. Same thing with like Tigatron. He needs to be bigger than Cheetor. Yeah, but give him the same the same tra basic transformation, and you know, I think a lot of people will be happy. Breaking news: This is an amazing figure. Breaking news: I regret taking the gun out of his hand because I can't get it back. <laughs> 
All right, moving on. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so, talking about uh, transform element, they uh, they they uh, teased something today. Now, transform element was a relatively unknown company until uh, last year, and they came out with their Light of Freedom, which a lot of people, um, I know, I know, Joe, you're a fan. Um, a lot of people have made their new <laughs> Optimus Prime. Well, right off the heels of uh, Sphinx getting reissued this year, Transform Element showing off their Mirage. And uh, Ooh, I, look at that I ab gotta crunch. say, look at that ab crunch. Yeah. Not only the ab crunch, the, the face sculpt, um, the forearms that don't break apart when you bend the elbow, the engine not on the, uh, the kneecaps. <laughs> mm hmm. You know, actual toes. Yeah, I, I I like the way it scales there, like that. You know, a sun streaker. And, and look, Transform Element actually did a sleep mode Optimus Prime. Mm -hmm. Uh the backpack, very very clean, very in keeping with even down to the hand sculpt. Like it looks very similar to what Gartomi is doing with their their uh, their their modern hand sculpts on Carbots. Um, do you have a problem with the face? I don't. I think I think the face is pretty pretty spot on. Well, that's how I feel. I was talking to um, Sony and, and Paik last night. They were complaining about the face. I was like, what the hell is wrong with you? I think everybody <laughs> is kind of used to the way that Sphinx looks. And yeah. I mean, with Sphinx, they had to they had to do it like twice to get it right. Um. Yeah. You know, in certain scenes, Mirage does have like a very round face. In others, it's kind of more rectangular. But again, that's that's the thing, right? With with Sunbow animation, you're really hard pressed to find a definitive look for a character. I mean, right? If I'm not mistaken, even Bruticus was in the toy color sometimes when he was on. Remember when there was an episode when Starscream had a mouth plate? Yeah. <laughs> What? Yeah, and it was an animation really? error. He had a, a mouth plate for a couple seconds. Then it went away while he was talking, and then it came back. I was like, what are these people smoking while they're animating? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta find that. I remember it. But and Optimus had a regular mouth one time. <laughs> and of course, um, when Skywarp teleported and then he turned into Starscream colors. Well, then, so you know, that's of... funny. That actually was um, uh, an animation error caused by uh, by uh, Shout Factory. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was reading about that uh, the other day. Somebody posted it saying on the old VHS tape that was correct. But uh, Shout Factory actually <laughs> doing oh, their, color, their color corrections. So it's like they're creating the Mandela effect. Basically. <laughs> you know, the first time I ever noticed uh, animation errors was on the Ninja Turtles cartoon. I had the uh, the Pizza Monster episode on VHS, and I noticed there were episodes oh. where they, in that episode they would be talking and their bandanas would change. Yeah, that's because you're younger. Transformers was my main show. It used to drive me up the wall. I was like, can't we have one episode where nothing is wrong? <laughs> and <laughs> They didn't even do it on the movie as much money as they put into the movie and they had color really? errors. <laughs> well, the problem is you started saying that and the next episode was on that day was Carnage and C minor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Jesus Ultra Christ. Magnus just fucking smashed into the constructor gun. Season three just seemed like they let an eight year old do it. No, and then season three had uh, a couple episodes that had some of the best animation of the series, though. They had the best episode. That was uh, Call of Primitives. Yeah, that was the one where Studio Ox did all, did all the work. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch that again. Oh yeah, story is horrible, but the animation abs uh, some of the best looking Decepticons you'll ever see. Yeah, did they do the commercials? I think so. Yes, that that um, Target Master commercial had the best animation. They used it in the opening sequence on season four. I'm not gonna lie, I actually Correct. really like the uh, oh, the uh, Pretenders commercial. They were good too, except they turned to people, which was weird. <laughs> Did we have another topic? 
Uh, we do. We have we have quite a few more. But I just want to see: Are you got any of you guys in on this mirage? Yes. Love it. Everybody in it. I, I'm eighty percent. Eighty percent there. I'm eighty percent there. Because I think with transform element too, another factor is going to be the price. That you know they're probably not going to include too many accessories. Which again, I'm not anti accessory, but just I don't care about that thing from that one episode. I'm you with know. you on that. I'm with you on that. But I don't mind effect parts. I love effect parts. Yeah, I'm all for effect parts. Well, Swix has a cleaner back. It doesn't go beyond his butt. Oh, yeah. And, uh, There's the color. Yeah, someone did a digibash. And uh, oh. if it comes out looking like that, I, I, I de- think it's definitely going to turn some heads. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I just picked up a sphinx. My sphinx feels like crap, so I'll gladly replace it. Drink some more water. It'll relax it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sorry. Sorry. After the show to get this damn gun back in the hand. All right. I, I will say I'm in for this, especially if he comes out at like 60 bucks. I'm uh, definitely, definitely in for that. Um, so one more, one more little bit of Transformers news. <laughs> The other stuff. Um, Creo. Y'all remember Creo? A little bit. So uh, Creo might be back in Cyberverse form. Where's that meme? You know, nobody. (laughs) Nobody. Nobody. (laughs) And then Creo. Hey, Uh, we're back. Nobody else. They're going to be right in five below. But they, they may be for the Chinese market. So... Oh, good. Yeah, uh, that whole Neza, if I'm not sure if I'm, I'm saying that correctly, Neza, Neza, uh, Transformers. Uh, looks like they're they're bringing Creo back for that line. But you know, funny enough, and I'm not sure if these are even uh, capable of transforming, or if you have to take them apart and put them back together. Yeah, looks like they, they might be. I hate it. But uh, the one I had, I have um, Sentinel Prime Creo. And you had to take them apart. That took like freaking four hours. Proportionally, these things look really good. The head sculpts look really good. It's just they yeah, look better than the toys. <laughs> right? Yeah, they, they actually have uh, better color breakup than the actual toys. Though more articulation. <laughs> I have to say those. Um, and, and look at the piece. That Megatron doesn't look bad. No, he doesn't. They, 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 yeah, like T said, these will probably have better articulation than any of the uh, official uh, Transformers for Cyberverse. Until those new deluxes come out with the build. Yeah. The build a few. <laughs> All right. So uh, outside of uh, Transformers news, we got some news that uh, our good buddy, Mr. Joe Crab and uh, Parks Former, God rest his soul. No, he's not dead. <laughs> Where the hell he is might he? Be experiencing, he, I think he's experiencing a little death. I, 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 I'm serious. I think his wife dressed up like Darkwing Duck. <sighs> I said it that one it night. I said it that one night, and he was like, he laughed, and then he like started rubbing his chin provocatively, like, <laughs> like that's what he wanted. So we're getting a Jackie Chun from Figuarts. <laughs> Oh yeah. Next is break up in the waist. What, what, what's interesting here is the sleeves, right? Because he actually it looks like he has swap out arms, the rolled up sleeves. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how $60, many faces he right? comes with. He probably comes with like he probably comes with like at least four or five faces here, from what yeah, I can see. Four or five. But yeah. It looks pretty good, actually. I think it looks a little bit better than the uh, the Roshi, the, the regular Roshi figure. I mean, this is I take it, this is easy. This is low hanging fruit for them because they already got the ninety percent of that mold. Was that, that Master Roshi's rival or something? That was his alternate. Uh, yeah, that was his alter ego that yeah. he came up with to uh, kind of challenge the challenge the boys in the uh, yeah. tournament. Okay. I mean, it looks it doesn't look bad. That'd be a good, just generic character to have. I could see a lot of photography potential with that. Does Roshi have app crunch? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the the so the first one 
I don't know. The tour, the the bring that picture back up. Yeah, give me one sec. The torso might actually be the same. I don't know. He's 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 kind of chunky. It almost looks like this one has more posability than the. It yeah, it does. Of, it it could be because of turtle shell on the back of the original. Is that bendy wire? This no, but it's. It. Get over here. Everything you complained about Dude. the first Scorpion is solved. That McFarlane yeah, yeah. Toys review I did for Scorpion, it's all of a sudden getting a bunch of views. All right, it's comments. exactly the same. It's it's exactly the same upper body, just repainted. Which is really, that would look really cool, like with the with the Master Asia as well. So. They were doing like Kung Fu Ninja Master. I have to watch the original Dragon Ball. I skipped straight to Dragon Ball Z. I'm surprised they haven't redubbed it yet. Eh, they probably screw it up. I highly recommend watching the uncensored original cut of Dragon Ball. You just you just like seeing little Goku's little Goku. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, confused Jim, when I seen an episode of Dragon Ball Z where they were washing trunks. Because when I watched the American version, he had on a diaper. But then it was on like some Spanish channel and he was completely naked. I was like, they can show that? <laughs> yeah, they used to show quite a bit. <laughs> I will say, in the original Dragon Ball, when it finally gets to the actual final fight with, Pic with, King, with uh, King Piccolo the second, that's actually a pretty good animated fight. You know. Yeah, I like I like original Dragon Ball. It's pretty good. I like the fact when Goku is not a freaking god of destruction. Hi, I can blow up a planet. <laughs> <laughs> like when there's some some levity to it, and uh, not levity, but I mean, Someone I kind of like a fighting chance. <laughs> yeah, Yamcha has a fighting chance. And he's not just yeah. A, They're all just jokes. jokes. I mean, anything, any cartoon with an with a, with a, a talking pig that's obsessed with girls' panties is just top notch entertainment in my book. <laughs> mm -hmm. And when blood shoots out of their nose every time they see a woman, <laughs> well, yeah. I figured out how to get the gun in the hand. I made it to Bumblebee's feet and. Uh, it's distracting me too much, and I like I can't do two things at once. So I think I have to wait. <laughs> so we're all, right. all, ladies and gentlemen, just in case, if you're paying attention, everybody here at Figure Action is distracted by something yellow and black. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, black and yellow, black and, black yellow. and yellow. Except and mine the, doesn't. And, mine doesn't jiggle. And nobody's getting hit in the head with a helmet. Well, look, mine I doesn't jiggle this, like zeros. I will say this: my legs so far are somewhat sturdy even though the feet are not transformed yet this is god dang it this is i, I hate the shoulders stuff. are extremely tight on they're this. gonna yes. redo all the damn freaking ninjas in this mold i'm gonna have to buy them all over again and i'm gonna love it love it as i throw the money i hate it i hate this sell the originals i'm about to this is seriously zero this will totally change your mind on storm all right i'll take your word for it <laughs> like lavar burton Maybe you should ship them, you know, one or two of those. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe that would make a good Christmas gift. Yeah. The season for giving. in the sky. All right. Back hey, to uh, hey. <laughs> back to our topics. We got two Godzillas coming. Hey. One, uh, one. It's interesting because NECA and Figuarts kind of announced these at the same time. This is the SH Figuarts, or I'm sorry, SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla, um, based on the uh, the uh, King of the Monsters design. I actually have this uh, this mold. I, I like the mold a lot. It's actually one of my uh, one of my pleasant, most pleasant surprises of the year uh, versus uh, NECA's release, which they don't have. I don't really think these shots are too good. But what I've seen of the NECA Godzilla, uh, at least they, they put it up against Rodan. And my God, that Rodan looks like one of NECA's worst, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I like the paint on Godzilla. Yeah, I, I think this this looks fine. It looks good looking <clears throat> paint there. 
I like the uh, I like the dry brushing that they've done here. Um, the Fig Arts one, I, I think, looks good, but it just kind of looks like orange and gold. You know, the uh, Fig Arts one looks a little too much like. Um, it doesn't look translucent, but it almost looks. Even though I know the articulation and the build's probably gonna be a little bit better, I'm kind of leaning towards the NECA. But it's, I'm glad that they did this uh, Monster Arts one because they actually, when they first came out with that, you could only get it with the, um, there was like a Blu-ray set that they came out with. And yes. you, had, mm. you had to get the whole thing and it was pretty expensive. I want to say it was some of the classic movies in a Blu-ray box set. So coming out with it individually is pretty pretty good. But Were they in English? Uh, I'm sure. I don't know. I think they were. I don't know. See, thing. I like the way they did the eyes here. On the NECA. That looks really good. Yeah, considering there's going to be like a, what, $40, $50 price difference between Oh, absolutely. Two, I'd go with the NECA. Yeah, Especially same. for a re for a recolor. Yeah. The NECA's I mean, probably you, bigger, too. Yeah. If you're going to get one, <clears throat> though, I would say get the, the Monster Arts, the regular color one. Mm -hmm. I definitely, definitely recommend that figure. He's a little. Now, um, NECA also had some uh, new reveals today. This is, our, this is our last talking point for NECA for the night. Uh, I am stupidly excited for this. We're getting a metal head for their Turtles line. No way. Oh, yeah. We oh, yeah, are getting a metal head. Yeah. Ooh, now, that Pred. Yeah, the Alpha Predator. Are you, are you familiar with that one, Dave? No, I am not. That is probably another Kenner figure one. Now, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm guessing this will probably be part of a two pack since that's how they're they're. Who would you showing pair that girl. with? Um, Slash. I think I think uh, I think Slash would be a good choice. I think that would be a that that would fly off the shelves. Although the <laughs> the uh, cartoon version of Slash is kind of derpy looking. In all in all honesty, I, I prefer the the toy slash Turtles in Time version of Slash. <laughs> I actually say slash turtles and time version of slash. Yes, you did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I love, I love the look of metalhead. I absolutely do. And, and the, these accessories just look awesome. I, I love, I love how uh, NECA does their accessories for these turtles. Um, and then this alpha predator. Um, are, I, I don't know what's up with that face mask, but he, he does he does look all right. I'm not too familiar with the lore. That's a lot but... of crap. I'll, I'll do a quick research. <clears throat> it looks like he comes in a, either a starfish or a glaive. Mm. I can't tell what that <clears throat> is. That looks like the glaive, glaive. It does. Maybe he killed him. <clears throat> and... Uh, Next bit is actually Storm Collectibles related. We were talking about this earlier. Um, that would be their Mortal Kombat 3, or I'm sh I should say Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Sub-Zero. Uh, I do find it interesting that this omits the scar on his face. Although I guess in the game he didn't oh, yeah. have it as a ninja. But Mortal Kombat 4 he did. But no, I think... he should have had at least and the part three, face paint. he didn't have a mask. Um, well, no, in three, an ultimate. That's why I said Ultimate Mortal Kombat three. He did have the mask. He he was uh, there was an alternate version of him. right there. Yeah, the, those effects effects pieces are freaking phenomenal. But it gets yeah. better. It gets better. I, I honestly and I, Dave, I think you know where I'm going with this. I think this figure. Me too. Has, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll get there. We'll cross that bridge. I mean. And again, this is the this this is using the same body on this scorpion, and oh, hello, gorgeous! Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. But I mean, this is again every complaint you may have had with those <laughs> other ones. This just can, solves it all. This is tight. Can, Here's that ankle pivot. Can you get a little little like caution wet floor sign? To go <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So it's T man. It's got your ankle pivot right there. Oh, and they're packaging these blood effects now. I didn't even mention the scorpion came with uh, three blood effects. 
course, that's all Photoshop. Have, yeah, that's not the best one. <laughs> that is that is like <laughs> one of the best effects pieces yeah. I yes. think I've ever I've ever seen. Do they have the 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 full frontal ver- shot? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not something he could ever do in the game, but but man, like that is that is just that is just that's an awesome piece, and it's it's a you know I love that it's an alternate hand to achieve that effect. Yeah. If that's not ages eighteen and up, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I really think that they outdid themselves. I I mean, I I've been wanting to have a scorpion and a sub zero in my collection, and, and I might. Get this, might, scor- get this scorpion. Well, you know, around my birthday, that might be my my birthday wish list. Yeah, I'm, not, um, I'm not a collector, but this thing looks really clean, really good. McFarland, they released a ice scorpion, and they oh, gave him the same. Zero? I mean, yeah, ice sub zero, and they gave him the same accessories. I was like, why didn't they give him some type of blast effect? Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. So he's Bihan. So he's okay. So he was uh, the one that ultimately becomes Noob Saibot. Mm-hmm. I need to get. I, I wish I had the space at uh, one up arcade cabinet. I would just I would just leave that thing on attract mode all day and just relive mm-hmm. my my childhood of not having enough quarters to feed the machine. You put the dog outside. Putting the dog right outside. There. No, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> uh, so we do have one thing that's out of character for our show. Our last little, little bit of uh, product news, and that is actually a Hot Toys figure. Um, can you, can Hot you all, Toys. Can you all guess what it is? What are those? They cost too much, like, right? This is this says, is figure action, not doll action. I. You know, I normally don't pay Hot Toys any mind, but <sighs> this is the heavy inf- infantry Mandalorian. Can we? I know. You know what? Let's. I'm. I'm going to keep this on toys. The rollout for the heavy Mandalorian from Hasbro was possibly the greatest toy rollout in the entire 21st century. How so? Pre-order. Episode aired, they shipped them. Oh. You know, people people got their Mandalorians like two days after the episode showed up. I got I got mine ordered I, for seven dollars. Mm. I know, but I'm just saying. And that's you're definitely gonna get your seven bucks worth out of that figure. Oh, I know, I know. It was wonderful. It was like I went on Best Buy <laughs> and they're like after after like the past what six months of going into Best Buy and them telling me I didn't have any reward points. And then they had like uh they had what was it? It was like you get thirty percent off one item. Hmm. And then he was already I think he was already like a little bit on sale and I used my reward points and it was like came at seven bucks. I was like, all right. That works for me. So that's why I don't give me any reward points. <laughs> You got to buy a lot there now. It's like it used to be. It was like a dollar. They they matched like one point one dollar to one point. Oh, and, I remember those days. I yeah. remember those. Days. And then like after you spent five hundred dollars in their store, which it, and for a while I bought my video games there. So it was like after you spent five hundred dollars in a year, they would upgrade you. And then it was like every fifty cents you spent was one point. It was something ridiculous. And then if you were a rewards member, it was like every video game you bought, you would get a five dollar reward certificate. After yeah. Suncoast shut down, Best Buy was my DVD place. Then I realized yeah. I should stop buying DVDs, and yeah. GameStop but, uh, changed the way they're doing things. They're doing it like um, they give you five dollars every month instead of you adding up the points to get. Get more and more points to get um, the dollar amounts. They just give you five dollars every month, and you got to use it within that month. Ugh. Really? Yeah. I should check on that because I can use that then on that Lord Dracon. 
You could. For you video could, games, that's that for video games, that's useless. For action game. figures, that's actually pretty decent. You get those exclu- those exclusives. The bad part is they raise everything five dollars. Is it five dollars <laughs> though? Well, I guess compared to Walmart it is. I'm just saying it that's what I said. $3. It kind of makes that worthwhile. Yeah. It makes it worthwhile. Yeah, you get like one figure. I know I know they want to be like a destination for uh oh, you got that transform pretty quick, Joe. It only took an hour. <laughs> do you do you does Courage. yours have any uh any paint defects? Um I, I noticed a lot of yellow flakes in the legs and there's a small spot right on his crotch. But I don't know Bumble where the yellow flakes are coming from because I really don't see a whole lot of paint chipping. Mine is amazingly a so, dust magnet. Here, I'll give you the, the scoop on how to get this gun into the hand. There's a tab on the front right here. Uh-huh. That has to go in. So like here, yeah, if you can see it, that has to go in and it will actually click in. You have to get the, uh, the, the pistols. Right. So pistol, that'll that'll click in and it'll hold solid. And then you can fold the fingers in, he says. Giggity. And that'll get the, the gun in. And hopefully, if you're not like me, you won't chip the paint on the gun. Yeah, I, I cannot wait to take so pictures. You can't just take the gun in and then close the hand? Nope. It's got a stupid design with these tabs that they should have never put in there. They Actually, should. you're t- you're talking about stuff. Um, I don't have a link to show you, but on Storm Collectibles um, Instagram today, they threw a teaser for their n- another new Mortal Kombat figure that I really cannot believe they're making. Sendo? Mutaro? No. Yes. Oh, I would think they just showed Kintaro the Mutaro tail. I you think they would do Kintaro first? They that technically would be a you know reskinning that Goro mold, but no, they're it showed the tail. I think Kintaro was a little bit shorter, though, right? Than Goro? I oh, thought he was the same size. Well, he doesn't have the he doesn't have the top knot. <laughs> no, they, he looked more like stocky and wider. But see, that's the thing about Mortal Kombat is they don't really have scale, and everything changes yeah. from game to game. And then in uh, okay. Mortal, and then in Mortal Kombat 11, uh, Shiva is Charles Barkley. <laughs> well, I'm just more saying, you know, um, even then they could still use the, the Goro skeleton and change the soft plastic to bulk it up. But I'm surprised that they're going with a, another brand new mold as opposed to, frankly, an easy repaint, which Kintaro would also would have also been a good convention exclusive. Yeah, I, I don't I don't agree with making like characters convention exclusives. Uh, I'm yes and no with that because Marab's still going nuts looking for a cyber smoke. Yeah, I I really I really don't think I, I think making character variants convention exclusive, sure. Like if they and, and like if you were gonna make any character a convention exclusive, I would say maybe make chameleon one. You know, do one oh, yeah. like in a you know like a uh, you know different colored plastic because I, I mean honestly, chameleon was a console exclusive. Well, character so was chameleon so is who rain yeah but rain <coughs> rain's rain's a little different like rain's become established established lore um and and not to, not to mention like rain was in the in the arcade with an asterisk in the attract screen and i i don't know i don't i i i don't think that it's right to make characters that would a lot of people would buy convention exclusives. Just my personal take. Well, it's also you know? be well, like if Kintaro uh, you know, and Mataro were only in what? Well, no, no, actually, Kintaro technically was in two games. Yeah, Mataro was only in one game. He was only in the background. Like if uh, they did Raiden. And they did the Mortal Kombat 2 raid, and they did him with the the red robes, like the Player 2 version. Like, that's a good convention exclusive. Because, you know, there's a lot of people... I, I feel like there's a lot of people, like they were, you know, they were a little brother, or they were, you know, that friend that didn't know the game, or, you know, the sibling that, that 
you know, always got delegated to player two. And what was uh, that? I think that's T adjusting his headset. <laughs> and for them, like there's some, there's kind of like something personal to playing as like a version of the character in the other colors. Or like if you're like me playing Street Fighter Two, I always liked uh, Ryu in the in the, the black gi with the the red uh, uh, bandana or the red headband. But uh, rant aside, uh, so T, you had a discussion topic, and uh, you know I can't we, remember what it was. What was it? So uh, we, yeah, I, said that I was asking. Um, Fans twice. If fans' toys were to make a masterpiece style bumblebee, do you think they would go realistic Volkswagen Beetle or Chibi Beetle? I think at this point they'd go they'd go Chibi. Yeah, you know. probably. Well, isn't doesn't Toy World have a Chibi Bee? I mean, I they so. they do, but it's not very good. It's not a masterpiece. Yeah. Right. I thought it Toy was World a, had. It was it. A, I thought theirs was an MPB. I'm sorry. It was it's called. His, it's his name B. B I I. Yeah. Yeah, that looks more um, classic style. Yeah, it looks. Me. It looks very chuggish. I mean, it I was. Mean, uh, it looks like up. a comic book version of. I still want it to be honest. <laughs> Here, I'll pull I don't know why the, I haven't bought it. I'll pull up the picture of it. It's uh, for its time, it was pretty good. I think it it came out. What twenty thirteen. Maybe the price hasn't dropped. Yeah, but you know the face sculpt. It kind of has like that fall of Cybertron face sculpt, which is kind of weird. Um, the black crotch. Yeah, kind of looks. Yeah, I've seen artwork that looks like that comic book artwork. Uh, it kind of looks more like what. Classics Bumblebee should have been, in all honesty. Oh yeah. If they could have used a Volkswagen. Yeah, if they could have used the Volkswagen design. But you know, it's interesting. The uh, the new B doesn't have the Volkswagen emblem anywhere. Like did the right. Joe, you have your box out. Is it, is Volkswagen mentioned anywhere on the box? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's called so. the Beetle Type One, right? Yeah, the, yeah, it's uh, prominent there. Yeah, I think they just did it to avoid any, you know, any any potential uh, copyright issues. And, but that that raises a good question about fans' toys, right? Is that uh, fans' toys as of late has been sticking more towards the fantasy vehicles? You know, yeah, I was thinking they never did an actual car until the Stunticons, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that I, I mean, I don't think Lamborghini is really all that aggressive about their their licensing. I mean, but they might not know about them. They, they either don't know, or their legal team isn't as aggressive. I mean, Volkswagen is, uh, you know, Volkswagen is an interesting beast. They they don't like being represented um, by just anybody. Um, you know, I was at a uh, I was at a concert on on Monday, and uh, one of the guys. And the concert talked about his his uh, song. The, like, the song he was about to sing was used in a Volkswagen commercial, and he talked about like how particular they are about their their process of advertising. And he had to go through all these hoops just to get his song. He was like, "Man, it was dope as shit to have my song in here, but man, I had to jump through some hoops." So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I mean. Are, are Do you co- still think people are worried about their history? <laughs> I. Hell if I know. I mean, I, I know that the reason it was hard for them to get the license was because they didn't like a German vehicle having guns. Mm. So. Mm-hmm. There we are. And then they saw all that sweet, sweet Chevy money. And they were like, oh, God, y'all can use it. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, they, they, they did not strike while the iron was hot. I mean, mm-hmm. I think Bumblebee did pretty good, but. Because Jazz could have been the Porsche in the first movie. Bumblebee, unfortunately, followed after the worst Transformers movie. Uh, Mm -hmm. Though, I think Paul C. would argue Revenge of the Fallen is still the worst. But I I think The Last Knight is just by far the worst. It is. I'll I'll watch watch. it. I I have no idea what the hell I watched. Yeah, I have no idea what it's about. I'll watch Revenge of the Fallen if it's on. It's not a good movie by any means. 
the twins are awful. They're like the cringiest yeah. thing. We watched it during TFCon, and it was so dumb. <laughs> you you fell asleep, was, didn't you? No, I, I was the only one to stay woke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was way dumber than I remember. <laughs> oh, God, I just saw those freaking uh, the RC bikes. The Studio Series RC bikes. I finally yeah. saw those things. Oh my god, that was the ugliest pieces of plastic made yet. <laughs> Who in Hasbro okayed that? The car told me. <laughs> That's why I Hasbro. I don't think Hasbro cares anymore. Yeah, I, I mean, I just I mean, make us some toys. Self form like nobody's business. I, I'm going to agree to disagree. I think that the RC sisters actually look pretty pretty okay for studio series but they're gonna be kept in bike mode if i get them with diaclone pilots <laughs> see there you go if you could if you get little pilots for them like little little riders i think they'd be really fun toys i mean honestly the way i see them is i see them as being like micro masters for studio series and we really don't have that because really the scale wouldn't work because i can't see brains or wheelie or uh, uh, shoot, what was the squeaks? Squeaks didn't even transform in the movie. There was a that lot of things that didn't transform was in those dumb. movies. What was that, T? I said that whole story arc was stupid. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, why was she even in a movie? No, I watched like Cinema Sins or something like that. And they, they pointed out the fact that they introduced the little girl. And then she wasn't in any of the movie till like the end. <laughs> yeah, it was so dumb. It was like they hyped her up so much. She's a decent actress, and she's like, "Yeah, I want to join you guys." And it's like, "Uh, oh yeah, she was here." And I think the, well, the let's weirdest introduce part, this other female character. The weirdest <laughs> part of the movie was Optimus Prime running up hills, screaming Vivian several times. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was the weirdest part of the movie. Uh, oh, and then Bumblebee. Bumblebee doing their I yeah I wish YouTube was not uh, was not like so I, w I wish YouTube wasn't like YouTube now because I would love 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 to do commentary for for like the last night like what you could do is like tell people when you're starting the movie we could and, do that and then talk about it <laughs> we can just do a commentary track we all we all five start it together. <laughs> <laughs> subject each that, other to the hell and just do it yeah, audio. That would mean though I have to watch that movie again. Would you watch it with us? My favorite part of the, of the movie is Optimus said, "I am Optimus Prime," like eight times, like the toy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that the I think they might. That was a uh, it was an interesting gut. I saw feature. a picture, a picture of them combined. I don't know how real it was. But earlier today, I seen a picture. I think on Dame Chalk reports. <laughs> the only way I would combine them is if, for some reason, I threw them in the trash can and the pieces accidentally, you know, kind of lodged in. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Uh, Nightwing, you know, it's it's like uh, I don't fall asleep during movies, but you ever hear like the watery eyes, where like you're about to fall asleep. Yeah, like right I, now. yeah, when I was <laughs> like right. He's like, man, I could be doing chill reviews. I could be shilling my Amazon page. <laughs> Instead, I gotta, I gotta talk about toys with these mofos. <laughs> I love y'all. I know you do, but I can't stop myself from yawning. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we, I think we, we've got through everything for tonight. So again, just as a reminder, anybody in the DMV area or uh, anybody insane enough to drive to meet us. <laughs> Uh, you can head on over to yep. the DMV Action Figure on, Society Dave. page. Bring the whole family. The collectors, uh, go to the event pages, RSVP. You don't have to do that, but okay. if you do, it gives me a good idea of who all is coming, <laughs> or just shoot me a DM, say you'll, you'll want to go. Uh, but Bar Louie, White Marsh, Maryland, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. I'll be getting there at 11, set up. Um, but, you know, come on, hang out. No, I'm not going to be there at 10. I know I'll probably be there like 10:45. All right, fine. I'll I'll put this floppy mess up here. Uh, 
Mine doesn't no, clock. Clear. Mine's rigid. <laughs> you got. <laughs> uh, you gave. Stop giving your toys Cialis, man. Did anybody see the? Uh, did I send you guys the thing? It was like the mashup. I'm like disrupting my own outro here for the mashup of like uh, the Joker going down the stairs to the Cialis commercial. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I thought I posted that. Okay, then then you might have. You you might you... hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we'll do some quick where you at, starting with Mr. Joe Crab. Uh well, you guys can find me here most Thursdays. And I think this guy's going back into car mode and probably staying there. <laughs> Oh. going back in the cardboard box because i am not i like his robot mode make his feet like this i need to do that but i don't see how it's going to help <laughs> i mean it'll help a little bit but it made me feel better so yours yours isn't you said yours isn't a floppy mess though joe it's not a floppy mess it's just not like good yeah uh. you got yours through amazon yeah oh yeah you said that already yeah i was gonna yeah. say yeah, I wish their I wish their return policy was a little bit better because I I you know uh, I, I need to swap this guy out. Bye, toy mafia. But if I can <laughs> get it transformed back clean, like cleaner than it came out of the box, then oh. it would make a pretty good. Oh. Toy mafia, he, he can't watch us because he's he's only twelve. Oh, oh, bye. And you know what we say about that. <laughs> F them yeah. kids. F them kids. Get the. F- did you watch Sean? He was like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yes, I did see that. <laughs> I was dying for like five minutes. I told you. He just played <laughs> like big time with down Spider Man with just a six inch dildo for his six inch comparison. <laughs> He'll be fine. He'll never be on a kid's list again. <laughs> just Ever. Come on, boy. He, he like might be on, be on a list. Be on yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Atkin. <laughs> we got a complaint. You're playing with toys and dildos? All, right. <laughs> All right. It's my True bucky st- cap. Oh, God. <laughs> True Star Screamer. Uh, where can people find you and your photography? Uh, you can find my me and my photography on Instagram at True Star Screamer, T-R-U. And... Um, of course, you can catch me here every Thursday with these guys. You can catch me on the PlayStation Network at the True Star Screamer. And occasionally now, apparently, you can catch me on this other podcast called Verbally Challenged, where we talk about wrestling. So mm-hmm. that's kind of fun, Oh, too. you know, um, a fun, fun tidbit. I'm actually going to my very first uh, wrestling match ever. Ooh, where? Who? Uh, Baltimore Arena, WWE on the 28th. Oh, I'm sorry. Have fun. I'm sorry. I mean, it's, you know, it's free. Oh, yeah. No, no. I'm just, uh, I, I'm an AEW f- uh, fanboy right now. It's okay, fucking... it's fair. I'm just saying I'm going to my first, my Have first fun. ever. Have fun. I've been to a couple. <laughs> Dave's like, enjoy your, enjoy your peasant wrestling. It is <laughs> peasant writing. Brock might um, not show up. Okay, uh, Kev, uh, back to uh, back to our meetup. Uh, the layout it's it's very open. It's very similar to uh, Pub Dog, so uh, they have a, a big table when you first walk in. That that I think that table, um, you know, there's a, a, a big cluster of tables really, but um, they said normally Saturday mornings, early afternoons, it's kind of dead in there. There's lots of TVs there, so there'll be probably be sports on, but. I want to lay claim to that big table that sits about like 12 to 14 people. And uh, we'll just start, we'll start staking out. So uh, they do have a separate area. Um, so they may move us there if enough people show up, but we're just going to, we're just going to take what we can get. So um, <laughs> we might be dancing on the bar. Depends on, uh, depends on uh, how much we, we have to drink. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I want to, the video of that. You'll, you'll get it. We'll go live. There will be a live stream on the Facebook page. Um, and of course, every time we do one of these, uh, T-Man978 likes to record and put those on his toy hunt videos. So uh, hey. speaking of T-Man978, who you know, you love, and you've probably click-clicked on some of those videos. I don't really say that when we start the show, but 
just in case people don't know how to use Google, where can they find you? You can find me here every Thursday, every Thursday evening on Figure Action, and pretty much every day on T Man 978. So do that. Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, Facebook, all at T Man 978 with no spaces. T Man. Right on. Bye. So good night. You know, I get to there. say that. Well, I, I have to say where people can find me if they're interested. You can find me on Twitter. I'm pretty active on Twitter. In fact, I posted yes. a little DIY tip for anybody that has bot bots and doesn't know what to do with them. Put them in your Christmas tree. That's what hmm. I did. Um, I see notifications that you posted Bolt Matrix and PR all day on yeah. Twitter. You know, I, I don't I don't manage the notifications, but, you know. Twitter just wants me to know that Twitter. you guys post. <laughs> Twitter knows who you follow. Yeah, Bolt, did you see I responded to your Twitter thing about your uh, about the Macross Do You Remember Love? I'm right with you on that. I think Joe just decided he liked Bumblebee. But outside of finding me on uh, on Twitter, uh, I, I occasionally post on Instagram. Extra Zero is my Twitter. Uh, you can also find me on the PlayStation Network as Extra Zero. Xbox Live is Extra Space Zero. And I'm actually playing halo reach on the pc so <laughs> you can play i'm on the uh on the pc now too um and uh you can find me in the facebook groups as james jordan again make sure you go to the rumble collectors or the dmv action figure society page for information on the meetup anyway uh it's been wonderful having you all it's been wonderful being here we'll see you all next week till then peace and have a great week Good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Get over here. <laughs>